We are pleased to have senior judicial analyst for Fox News and the host of Freedom Watch on Fox Business, Judge Andrew Napolitano with us. New book out by the judge. It's called It's Dangerous to be Right When the Government is Wrong. Welcome to the show, Judge. It's nice to be with you guys. Thanks for sharing your listeners with me. All right, now listen, I got one question. Why aren't you running for president? Because you... (laughs) You are the guy that we need up there. And you know oh, what? Oh, you're so kind. And I, I tell you, Romney wouldn't be putting his hands all over you. You wouldn't allow that to happen. You'd get right up in his face. You got that right. Um, I'm very happy with what I'm doing now is, uh, <laughs> is the answer to your question, and the question is indeed uh, very flattering. Unfortunately, the government just keeps giving me more and more material to write about. This is my sixth book in the past seven years on the government and human freedom and the Constitution. And as both of you guys, Matt and Lois, and probably almost everybody listening to us now knows, everyone who works for the government, from a school janitor to the president, from a state trooper to a public school teacher, and everybody in the Congress takes the same oath. I took this oath to uphold the Constitution. But yet the government seems to spend so much of its time avoiding and evading the Constitution. One of the reasons we fought a revolution against a king is because he authorized his soldiers to write their own search warrants. And when we won the revolution and wrote a constitution, we added the Fourth Amendment to make sure that if the government wanted information from you or about you, it had to go to a judge and get a search warrant. Guess what the Patriot Act permits? It permits federal agents to write their own search warrants. Now, I ask you, would it be easier for the government and the police if they could break down any door they wanted and listen to any conversation they had an interest in and arrest everybody who looked at them cross-eyed? Yes, it would be easier. Yeah, well, you would want to live in such a society. You're That's right. why we have a constitution to prevent the government from doing these things to us, and yet it does. So, Judge, I've got to ask you, as you look at what's going on right now in the country, where do these Occupy Wall Street protesters fit into the upcoming election? You know, that's a great question. We um, actually sent some of our producers down there to interview a lot of them, and we found that these are not all hardcore lefties who think the government owes them a living and the government should steal from the rich and give to those who don't have as much money as the rich do. There are actually a lot of don't tread on me folks down there. A lot of people are saying end the Fed, end the wars, end the IRS. Mm -hmm. So it's a very interesting mishmash. I may disagree with much of what they say, I'll quote Voltaire, who, by the way, gave me the title for this book. I would defend to their death the right to say it. Some of this is not their fault. Some of the reason unemployment is so high and these kids can't find jobs is because the government has betrayed them by borrowing against the future and by printing cash by the bucket's full and, de- and devaluing uh, the dollar and causing the price of everything to go up and causing unemployment to go up. Stated differently, there are some beefs down there that are legitimate. Hmm. The government should not be giving money to its favorite bankers and to its favorite uh, business people. Right, right. But some of their, some of their beefs are absurd, like the government owes them a living and they have a right to a certain minimum wage. They don't. Judge Andrew Napolitano joining us this morning. What about the government picking the winners and losers, Judge? We'll ask him that question. Joining us this morning, Judge Andrew Napolitano from Fox News and Fox Business, his Freedom Watch show. Uh, Judge, why is it that our government seems intent on picking winners and losers? The Constitution, by requiring equal protection, meaning by requiring the government to treat similarly situated persons and entities in a similar way, expressly prohibits it from picking winners and losers. The government is without the constitutional authority to say to Solyndra, we'll give you half a billion, but to mom and pop, we're not going to give you the money because you didn't make a contribution to the president's campaign. I'm not just picking on this president. This stuff started with TARP under George W. Bush. Right. The, the, the free market presumes that when you risk your own money or you risk the money of your colleagues, you are, you are risking that loss, that the government will not put a safety net under you, and that safety net will be called the taxpayers. When the government does that, and it can't do it everywhere, it is picking winners and losers. The government is very bad at picking winners and losers. Losers, because it makes those choices on an econ- on, a, on a political model, not on an economic model. On, on where it will get votes from, not where it will produce the most economic good. So, Judge, you're, you're talking about votes, and freedom is extremely important in our conversation. And yet, so many people have no work. So, what issues should rise to the top in this election? Uh, why our taxes are so high? 
why we have so much regulation, why the government does so many things that are not authorized by the Constitution, why do we need a Department of Education, a Department of Energy, a Department of Commerce, a Department of Agriculture, a Department of Housing and Urban Development. None of these things is authorized to the federal government under the Constitution. Why does the federal government regulate the strength of the water in your shower each morning? Where is that in the Constitution? So you like the, you like the Ron Paul plan? Does that resonate with you a little I, bit? I do like the Ron Paul plan because the people are entitled to a government that stays within the confines of the Constitution. What is the sense of this oath to uphold the rule of law, the supreme law of the land, if nobody's going to uphold it? Yeah, you're, you're right. And, Judge, i, I got to tell you, if you have an opportunity to pick up any book, uh, pick up uh, Judge Andrew Napolitano's new one, It is Dangerous to be Right When the Government is Wrong, The Case for Personal Freedom. Judge, love watching you on Fox Business. I get an opportunity uh, usually uh, every other week to join Lou Dobbs. I hope someday you and I will... Yeah, we'll have- have you on with us as well. I love Houston, and I love you guys. Thanks for joining. Wonderful. Anytime. Judge, thank you so much. Bye-bye.